Hello everyone, you're welcome back to this YouTube channel. I want to first and foremost appreciate you for dropping by to watch the video and also I want to appreciate you for subscribing to the channel. I'm sincerely grateful. Today I am making a video about other schools that you can apply to if you are looking for how to do your master's or phd in brazil so in this video i'm going to be sharing with you at least four different schools okay i have more but i'm just trying to look at how i can uh, i might not be able to do everything in one video they have different closing dates so we have different courses in these different universities that you can apply to before we start i would like to quickly say that if you are coming to this channel for the first time please kindly like the video and i want you to kindly subscribe to the channel so that we can you know uh, carry ourselves along as you know information comes you can get to know about them and of course it's also an um, opportunity to help the channel grow right so thank you so much please can you permit me to also uh, reiterate the fact that most of the um, applications to some of the schools that i did in the previous days you know some of them will be rounding up in this february while some of them will be starting up in this february so please try as much as possible to check on if you have started one and you are yet to complete try as much as possible to complete it on time and if you are waiting for because there are some that is going to that will be starting on the 7th of february if you are waiting for one that is going to be starting try as much as possible to gather your documents and don't forget i usually lay emphasis on your latest cv and your proposal because those are just the most important uh, document that will be used to assess your application so because uh, i actually want us to uh, be able to at least land whatever so that the effort will not be you know in vain as many school that you apply for to i'm praying that you'll be able to land you know yourself an opportunity there so let's just go straight to the universities we're going to be looking at today and the first on my list is federal university of alagoas okay federal university of alagoas okay as we can see from here it says dear visitor the link that is going to lead you to this particular page i'm going to drop it in the comment section and it says on this page you will find the latest selection process register in SIGA so that you can consult them and if the registration period is open fill out the form provided for this purpose so SIGA let me say it again I've said it over and over SIGA is just like an educational platform for all universities in Brazil so almost all the universities except those that are um, private that have a kind of oh, it's this is still like um SIGA but it's a little bit different because SIGA is should be under government either public or federal so SIGA is just like a platform where university disseminate information about what is going on and from the SIGA you can also navigate the different program different faculties different departments and uh, of course on SIGA you can also be able to um, get information about the faculties talking about the lecturers the professors you can also be able to get information about them their email and every other thing so i have already navig i navigated to the part where we can see selection process so that is where i am now and it says selection process stricto sensu on this page we have read so it will be possible to view information about these processes, such as the course it refers to, the registration period, some associated files, and instructions for candidates. For each process listed, an application form is available for candidates. The selection periods marked in green and op are open, and the ones that are not green are not open. For example, these ones are closed, but the ones that are green, they are open. So let me quickly say there is an application just like this place says uh, there's an application form that you're going to fill and some of them require you to send your document via email and the email will be attached to the general information that you are going to also see in any of this one so let's just 
quickly look do like an overview of the courses that are still open we have one two three four five six seven eight so we have eight different courses that are still open for either masters or phd in this particular school and each of these schools i mean each of these programs also have different number of vacancies so the first one is 10 15 19 16 10 8 10 20 now these vacancies are going to be comp competed for by indigenous and by foreigners so either you're a brazilian or you're a foreigner you are eligible to apply it does not matter where you're applying for it could be from Af any country in africa it could be any country in asia it could be any country in america north south whichever, whichever part you are you can apply in as much you can go through the process online so the first one here is physics teaching that is uh, maybe a teacher that teaches physics the second one is social anthropology the next one is meteorology sociology i saw some people were looking for something cultural so if you're looking for a course that is related to cultural you can actually do social anthropology or sociology itself so the next one is water resources and sanitation so we have material science we have chemical engineering i also saw someone looking for uh i think electrical engineering so there is one of the schools i'm going to talk about today there's electrical engineering too so and the, the last one is chemical engineering which is for a master's degree so that is that so let's go to the second one because after talking about the universities then i can proceed to how like we can do a simulation maybe with anyone here or any from the other schools right so the second school is uh federal university of paraiba okay i didn't really want to take much time otherwise i could have said okay let's just take moments to start looking at the cities i mean the different city where these universities are situated but nonetheless these universities are in good locations okay so this one too i've already opened the selection process section of the SIGA. don't forget i told you that on SIGA there are so many things you can do on that site or on that platform so you can check for available um, selection process you can do so many things okay so the first thing you, you are going to do is to enter your cpf if you're in brazil already and you have your cpf but if you don't have your cpf just click this part and there will be no need for you to enter cpf okay so that's it but then the most important thing you want to do here is to look at the uh, courses that are still open um just in this place unfortunately we have just um three courses that are open okay and the first one is in linguistic linguistic if you studied english or any uh, language related course you can do this I, I think some people were looking for language related course maybe english maybe portuguese or maybe um any any language at all so you can actually apply for linguistics okay so the next one is legal sciences legal sciences both doctor uh, doctorate and master's level the next one is public management some people also asked me to do i mean to make video about courses that are um, management related so this one is public management and it's for master's degree so this is the closing period and this is the number of vacancies they are looking for please i beg if you are looking for like i know some people that they are looking for opportunity maybe in this one is a very good one to look they are looking for 60 candidates and the one for legal science don't forget the legal science is just like law so they are looking for 30 the phd for 15 and for public management they are looking for 19 okay so that is for federal university of paraiba so just like i said earlier we're still going to do like a simulation but one simulation that we're going to do is applicable to all of them because how to assess 
Siga is almost the same for all school, right? And most of the platform are user friendly. That they they are you really non don't need too much of uh, IT knowledge. You know they are just user friendly and they are easy to navigate. So the next school we are going to be looking at is no any other one than the uh, State University of Mato Grosso. State University of Mato Grosso. As we can see, all of them are listed on SIGA, right? So you know, on this particular one, too, we have like five or six courses that are open. The first one is Letters. Letters is a bit related to linguistics too. Some schools call it Letters, some schools call it Linguistics, and in some schools it has a distinct um, uh, it has distinct differences, okay? So, but I believe someone with a background in letter or linguistic can do postgraduate in either of the two, right? So, the first one is letters here and 22 for master's, 15 for PhD. The next one is water resources, management and regulation, 27. Please don't forget the closing date. Most of these ones are going to be closing very... Okay, this one is going to be closing in April. April, April. But this one is going to be February. The rest are going to be February. So this one is... Um, Academy Mobility uh, Prof. Prof. Agua. Water Resources Management and Regulation. The next one is Education for Doctorate just for doctorate and uh, this is supplementary notice extension of enrollment anytime you see an extension of enrollment i usually ask people to give it a shot because it is because uh it has closed before but maybe they realize that most people didn't apply for it a lot of people a lot of people in brazil they are not really concerned about some courses so when such uh course uh or such courses are not applied for they want to extend the closing period so that's what happened in this case supplementary notice teaching in an intercultural indigenous context this will be very good for someone coming from a background like nigeria so you can actually apply for this one so uh it is you can apply we it depends i mean irrespective of your uh, nationality i'm just trying to use uh, nigeria as an example so it's going to close like the end of this month so you have a long time to prepare so it's going to close on the 28th why this one close on the f closes on the fourth which i believe has passed and this one because today is fourth and this one closes on the sixth so but these ones are going to close in april and i think it's a very good one for you to apply to if you are looking for um op opportunity in these areas so without much ado let's just start with one let's say we're going to pick this first one announcement i mean the physics teaching how do I go about it? So the first thing you're going to do, don't click this arrow. If you click this arrow, it will also reopen this particular page, right? So just click on this one. Bam. And it has brought us to this particular place. So on this page, you are going to have detailed information about this program physics education physics you know in education we have um, different subject we have biology education english mathematics but this particular one is physics and there will be need for you to have documents that that um that's uh, accredited or that certify that you're actually a uh, physics teacher so we're going to be looking at that shortly so this is where you're going to sign up okay and um, you can check for the go, I mean, document that will be attached here. I think we should just look at this document. And uh, but before we look at the document, let's just quickly look at the guidelines. Guidelines first. So the Proctor of Research and Graduate Studies and the coordination of this particular program. Make the call for those approved in 21st session to carry out institutional enrollment. Registration will be made exclusively through the SIGA portal at the, this address. Okay, so guidelines for applicants. Please read this notice. 
please read notice this 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 carefully to learn all the information about the registration so once when they say this notice they are referring to this particular one this is the notice um uh, if you click here you are going to see the notice click here to see uh we are supposed to see the notice here okay or if we click here we are supposed to see the pdf we have I've, I've opened this one in another tab which i'm going to be checking late, uh, shortly but it is important for you to look for this particular document okay that has detailed information about the board basically these are what is needed these are the documents that are needed now copy of identity card in case of a foreigner it can be your passport it can be your nin it can be anything it can be your driving license okay anything that can identify you so copy of cpf if you are not a brazil if you are uh, if you're a foreigner you really don't need to do some of these things that are here because these things are identification for brazilian copy of electoral settlement voter registration card if you have a registration card in your country you can use it but i'm thinking it's actually for brazilian so copy of proof of fulfillment of military obligations for men you know that's that's why i most strongly believe it's for brazilians because uh it is in brazil that they usually make it compulsory that men must have this so copy of undergraduate academic, tra academic transcript copy of diploma front and back then this is your transcript and your certificate then copy of proof that you are currently teaching physics science remember I said that they are just going to they are going to add this particular document to your uh, to your doc to your uh, supporting document. So, so let's look at details of how to apply. So I've clicked this part. So if you click this part, it will ask you for passport. Once you enter your passport, then you will enter these numbers here. Then you will push car. So this is the part where we are going to do the registration. So you are going to fill in all your documents, every other thing that you need to do. Okay, so all those documents that were they were asking for, so you are going to fill them in here. So once you enter that you are not a Brazilian, there will be some that this asterisk will you know move away from it, so it, such that you'll be able to proceed to the next to the next stage of the application. So once you are done, confirm your institution then and uh, submit so that's it but from the document i was saying uh which we can which can be found there let's just click it the document you can also get more information okay so this is it though you can read and read everything that you need to do try to translate it and of course uh, check everything one beautiful thing about this one is that they do not ask for what's it called they do not ask for latte cv and that's a very good one so if you are uh, freaked out by latte cv you and you are qualified you can apply for this one so guys this particular process is what you are going to use for the rest so just click here once you click then follow the process and it's going to you know you'll be able to assess where you can apply for this particular opening so guys um thank you so much for your time if you are having any challenges or any difficulty in navigating any of the schools kindly drop a comment and if i haven't make a video about your school as well kindly drop a comment so that i can uh, try to include them in my next video so thank you guys once again if you are yet to subscribe don't forget to subscribe don't forget to give this video a like and uh, don't forget to share with someone that might be interested i'm rooting for you i'm praying that good success will follow your efforts until the next video thank you ciao ciao Thank <laughs> you.